It's the 2K Sports pregame show. It is round two of the NBA playoff. The intensity just kicked up a notch for game two. Welcome everybody, Ernie Johnson along with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. And coming right up, we'll see the Milwaukee Bucks playing against the Miami Heat. Looking at Miami, they came close in game one, but fell short down the stretch. Tonight, a chance to make amends and even the series. And after losing game one, Kenny, this is a, uh, this is a critical game. I mean, it's a situation where their backs, as they say, are against the wall. Uh, would you contend that they have to win this game? Well, it would, it would be probable. But only a handful of teams have dropped the first two games at home and gone on to win the series. However, you, I, yours is I, one of them. I, won, I was on a team that did it. So I can't say it's impossible, but it's highly unlikely to be that clutch. Listen, Ernie, they have to play like there's no tomorrow. They need the home fans to really round around them. I expect them to bring maximum effort and play with a real sense of urgency. It's strange, though, even if you do play that way, as if there's no tomorrow, and you do win the game. There is a What's tomorrow. it matter if there's not a tomorrow? Well, if you lose, though, there huh. could be no tomorrow. What if you win or lose and tomorrow doesn't happen? Are you talking what, about what, what good does it do that you won the game? I don't know. That's pretty, that's too deep. That's too deep for where we are. Yeah, you're in very deep waters. Yeah. See you I'm next drowning. time. And so the tip off, it's Miami. We've got a chance here to set the floor, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for this one. And Milwaukee looking at who they've got. Ludzo is out there with Kyle Corver. Then it's Brook Lopez. And then there's Antetokounmpo. And it's Middleton in at the three. Off the inbound. And it's Wade getting it to go. Wade's got the first points up on the board for the Heat. Here is Antetokounmpo. So outside, takes it to Lopez. From 15 feet away, that's good. Really nice way to get your first bucket of the day. And here are the Heat. They come off the loss on Friday. That was a difficult one for them to drop. A close game throughout, and an opponent that they're going to beat more often than not. Well, it was self-inflicted, plain and simple. I mean, they just didn't play up to their ability, and it's cost them. Now, here's Bledsoe, following the miss by Chris Bosch. Misses in close. Well, the effort was there, but he just couldn't quite find his way through traffic. Wade gets the buff. That falls. Nice speed that time from Dwayne Wade. Butler's got his first points of the night. Now, here's under the Kumbo. There's a screen. Middleton for three. Can't get it to go. And it's Miami the other way. Wade dishes to Dragic. And so just over a minute and a half played. Back to Wade. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. Bucks have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Middleton the pass to Ronda Jacunto. Shoots a three, and he gets it to go. 
offensively, he can be the engine that drives them at any given time. He'd have gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Rogic kicks to Wade. Bosch hits the pick for Wade. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Milwaukee's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Outside, Andre Kumbo. Outside for Bledsoe. On the arc, and another three for Milwaukee. He can be a weapon if he gets going early from long range. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Kevin, I had a chance to talk with head coach Eric Spolstra. In terms of how they'd respond after giving up home court advantage in game one, he replied, that was last game. That's in the past. We've just got to focus on the present. But he did admit that a loss here will make things very difficult. History tells us, Kevin, that's a near impossible thing to overcome. Thanks, Doris. The Bucs shooting their first free throws of the night right here. So it's Miami now, trailing by two. Bledsoe against Dragic. There's the pick. A shot by Butler. Nobody around. It's a big hit. Henson goes in. You can't afford to get him that kind of a look. Well, you know, he came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, he's got to do a better job of fighting over and through that. Now here's Bledsoe. Lopez is streamed. Bledsoe outside. The shot is off. And the Heat going the other way now. Outside Dragic. Bosch is screwed on Korver. Dragic dishes the Bosch. Good ball movement here by the Heat. Butler. And he gets it to go from the corner. Butler's got six. And a really good way to start the game. He's a guy who, if he gets it going early, he's going to give you problems. Here's Bledsoe. Lopez a screen. Bledsoe passes to Lopez. Milwaukee, no good that time either. When he's wide open like that, he'll rarely miss those. Three-pointer, Butler, and that's good. And it's Dragic with the assist. And that's now nine points for Jimmy Butler. Bucks trail by five. On the Takumbo, kicks to Bledsoe. On the pass to Court. To the paint. Got a piece of it. Wade against Corver. Here's the prodigy. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Bosch can't hit. He operates well in traffic, but still, that's just a tough play. No good from Bledsoe. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let's see if he can eventually get back on track. No question, he got drunk on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. 
For Miami, they have made their only other free throw attempt today in an earlier trip to the line. First one falls for it. And good on the second, so it makes them both. Bucks trail by seven. Middleton with it, now guarded by Dragic. Rockets against Middleton. Puts up the baby hook, and the shot is good. The Heat leading by five. And here's Dragic. He hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure will change. Warber against Wade. Here's the prodigy. Miami no good on that time either. Bucks have gone four for nine from the field to start this team. Outside, on the field ball. And he throws it down hard with one hand. The one-hand slam is so sweet when it's his hand doing the slam. Oh, yeah, he is so smooth, even on a power finish like that. And really, that's what makes him unique, that combination of power and polish. Marsh can't get it to go. He's going to play his way right onto the bench and out of the game if he continues to shoot it like he has so far in this fourth. Picked him clean. Wade against Corver. Wade gets the drive. Outside Corver. Tries to keep it alive. And out of bounds as the Heat gain possession. And on the screen now is the 2K leaderboard with a rundown of this postseason's assist leaders. Goran Dragic fourth. And it seems like he's taken it on his shoulders to get every one of his teammates involved in the offense here in the postseason. What a passing display. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. I, I think he just sees some things that can be improved and wants to get everybody back on the same page. And usually that, to me, is a good use of the timeout. I mean, if there's something that he's noticed that can give his team a lift, I think he's got to try to take advantage of that. Different look for Miami. Stoudemire comes in for the prodigy. And it's Dang in for Chris Bosch. The Bucks also with the sub. George Hills checked in for Eric Ludsoe. Here's Dragic. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Down low. And they double up up. Shot clock at six. No good from Trogic. Where you see him miss such an open look. On to Takumbo, takes the local. And it's out of the Kumbo, penetrated. And stolen by Butler. And again, it's the Heat missing. Bucks trail by three. On the way, Corbett. Pass to Lopez. He 
he dishes it to Hill. A three. Goes on to Takumbo. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And gobbled up that rebound and went straight into attack mode on the putback. Oof, he, he is one of the most determined rebounders, Clark, we have got in the NBA. Yeah, you're calling it right, Kevin. I mean, he gets so many second chance points because of how hard he works to get to the rebound. And some changes here for the Heat. Crowder is checked in for Jimmy Butler, and Winslow subbed in for Dwayne Wade. And then for Milwaukee, Lopez is checked in for Lopez. Matthews comes in for Chris Middleton. And Jared Bayless subbed in for Kyle Corbin. Hill dishes to Bayless. From past the arc, here's Lopez. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Definitely saved the layup with that foul. And they'll make him earn him from the line. That's what you want to see. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Next one could give them the lead. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw. Line. Yeah. Look, he'd like to take the lead on that possession, but he, at least he was able to tie the game up. Stoudemire, the screen. Rogic kicks to Stoudemire. Rocket six. The dish to Crowder. And he gets the shot to fall after coming off the pick. Crowder's got his first bucket of the night. Effective screen set there for the jump shot. That was the key to the play. point for them in this one fellas I can feel it no, it always is and it has been so far and they've got a nice edge on the glass now here's Dang looking for his first basket still in this one that is good and how's that for oh, no, the killer crossover it's a thing of beauty Honda to Kumbo passes to him he kicks it to Bates Second ball. Miles Bumley's checked in for Andy Chakumbo. Eight leading by four. Now Winslow. Stoudemire the screen. Winslow kicks to Drunch. Dishes to Stoudemire. Milwaukee with the rebound. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be, but he is so strong in the back. Hope has a screen. And Butler gets to the Emperors. The feet to Hill. Look at six. From about 19 feet, that is good. Here's Dragic. Down low, Stoudemire dishes to Dang. From 13, that's short off the rim. And Luel Dang gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. There's 154 left in the first quarter. 
outside hill. Feeds it to Lopez. And he hits it to tie the game up. What a start they've gotten off to on the glass. I mean, they've come out banging. And when a game starts off like this, Clark, there's an intimidation factor, a physicality that they've brought that comes into play. And the Heat call time here. left here in the opening quarter. They set the pick. Now here's Crowder. He's covered by Matthews. And the shot's good from Crowder. Hard to get that one off with the size difference there. That makes it a tough individual matchup for him, especially in the Well, took on the big guys going in there and challenging them like he did. Boy, that was a nice job. The shot's good from Bayless. Guys back and forth this first half. Well, five lead changes early on, guys, as we grapple back and forth. <laughs> and this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. Now here's Dang. And it's sent back by Trumbly. Matthews against Dragic. And Matthews kicks to Plumley. Puts up the baby hook. Nice deed from Dan. Miami trail. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. That's good. And that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. Milwaukee's gone three to seven from three-point range in the first quarter. Hill passes to Bayless. the screen. It's back to Hill. There's the triple. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. He lead by one. Back after this from the American Airlines Arena. And thanks for joining us once more as we get set to continue our coverage of the Eastern Conference Centers. And let's quickly break down the game we've been seeing from the Heat, guys. Well, they've dictated tempo with their defense and, and been able to force some turnovers. Yeah, and you know, they've also done a good job, Greg, on their end of the floor by not throwing the ball away. Bucks train on the court from Milwaukee here in the second. They've got Chris Middleton. Kyle Korver is out there at Bloodson. Then it's Brooke Lopez. And it's Andre DeCumbo in at the four. Shoots a three. It's hauled in by the Heat. Pass to the product. And that one off the back of the rim and in. The Prodigy's got the opening basket here in the second quarter for the Heat. Bledsoe outside. Let's it go from 11, and it's Prodigy with the rebound. That's a bad miss right there. I mean, you'd like to see him be a little more assertive when he has such good position. Wade can't hit. Bucks trail by three. Middleton outside. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Here are this postseason's dead eye shooter. These guys have knocked down a ton of shots from downtown. Third is Giannis Antetokounmpo. Fourth, Brooke Lopez. Oh, when players like them get their feet set behind the arc, it's over. 
That's what they do. That's who they are. These are excellent three point shooters and they've shown it here during the postseason. Falls for Middleton. Middleton hits them both. And we play through the first uh, minute here in the second. High arcing shot. No luck. Ludzo with the defensive effort. Buck shooting around 41% on the night. Andrikumbo with the ball. He's got seven. Outside Korver. To the inside. Five to shoot. Shots good by Middleton. Guys, what a tight start to the game this has been. You know what? Can you believe there have been seven lead changes already, guys? Wow. And it's still in the first half. This could be a wild one. And it's to the... And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but what we've got an advantage is starting to happen. Yeah, still close. But they're tough to play on the board. They're certainly seeing the effort. Here's the prodigy. Rebounded by Corver. Milwaukee in the lead. Bloods her with Butler covering. From deep three-point range, and there's Corver on the assist from Eric Bloodso. For Miami, they've gotten off to a rough start here in the second floor. Going just one for five. And that'll be Miami as it goes out of bounds. The Heat retain possession. They're fortunate that one was just deflected and not stolen. Dodged a bullet there. against Bloodso. Outside Butler. Has to Wade. Good ball movement here by the Heat. Shot to stop the run. And right now they find themselves down on the scoreboard and struggling to make their shot. They need to work on getting into the lane, drive the ball to the basket, get some easier looks that lead to high percentage shots, and maybe they can get back on track. Milwaukee shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. in the quarter they've um they made them all taking full advantage at the line <laughs> i tell you what nice job making the most of their opportunities and eric bledsoe drops them both And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Wade outside. Stolen by Bloodsoe. One on one, fast break. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle on a lot of contact here. That's on Dwayne Wade. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Milwaukee. Guys, they are dialed in from beyond right now. They didn't waste any time getting into a groove in this game. You know, the other thing they've been able to do in the early going is to get to the free throw line and convert tonight. 
That free throw, no good. And Miami making a change here. Penn's checked in. second. The Heat trail by six. Here's the prodigy. That one's off. Still out of sync. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Kicks it to Bledsoe. Shot clock at six. Foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. The Bucks have shot 60% from the line, 6 of 10. Free throw is good. Both good from the line that time. The Heat trail by eight. Gets dishes to Dang. Here's the prodigy. Almost, but it rolls out. Really tough for this group right now. Trying anything to stop the run. And no matter what they've tried, it hasn't worked. I think they just got to slow it down, idle it back, and, and get back to the basics. Now here's Bledsoe. They lead by eight. That's the biggest of the game. Here's Lopez. There's the basket and making a double-digit lead. Lopez has got his second bucket. Man, they are starting to pull away here as the shots continue to fall. Yeah, I agree with you. A big run taking place right now, and it looks to be the beginning of the end. Timeout call, the Heat. And they've gotten good looks, you know, so that's one reason they're frustrated. Maybe he can come up with something to get them an easy one, maybe get to the line. Yeah, you know, that may be the answer for them. But you know what else, Greg? Ultimately, I think because they're getting good shots, they'll make a better percentage of them going forward. Bellinelli, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Now here's Dang. Botch the screen. The pass to Butler. He feeds it to Dragic. Outside Butler. To the middle. Deflects the pass. Now the box moving it up. Moving it up. Lopez with the ball. He's picked up by Dang. Now, here's Bledsoe. He has seven. Pass to Bellinelli. That's the three fly. No good. And Miami the other way now. Here's Dragic. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. And here is Hunter DeCumbo. like a little deeper with the hanging finish. I tell you what, they're not backing off at all, are they? Now, here's Dragic. And it's sent back by Lopez. Outside Corver. And fouled hard that time. They'll get to the line and shoot two. They get Lou all day. For Milwaukee, they have had 12 attempts at the line, making eight so far.
the first one falls. Winslow's checked in for Miami. Free throw is good from Corver. Now Drogic. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Bosch, a screen on Corver. Butler kicks to Bosch. A picture perfect screen play, and the jumper's good. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Time dropping delights is what I call it. All right, that is a nice pass. I will give you that. Yeah, he was on the money. That's no doubt. That's not the best of shot selection there. The defense definitely won that possession. Yeah, I think in that case, you've got to go elsewhere with the ball. You just can't rise up over the top of him when he's on you. Here's Bellinelli. He dishes it to Lopez. The jump hook. Rebound by the Heat. The prodigy's got his fourth rebound in this one. The kick outside to Butler. Really left alone that time. Butler's got 11 points. Boy, they are passing the ball very crisply right now. They really are, and their last three buckets have come by way of an assist. The dish to down out. Bloodsoe outside. Shot clock at six. good it's his second bucket in five tries but you know what sometimes something good can come out of a bad possession Rockets the pass to Butler to the paint they get a hand on it and so the ball out of bounds Bosch touched it last Amari Stoudemire is checked in for Miami Jay Crowder comes in for Goran Dragic the box also changing it up Lopez he's checked in for Lopez Matthews comes in for Kyle Corfer. And it's Hill in for Eric Bloodson. Hill with it. Outside, out of the Kumbo. He kicks it to Lopez. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Well, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you go to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the end one. For Milwaukee, they have made 10 of their 14 tries at the free throw line in the game. First one falls. Miles Plumley's checked in for the Bucks. And both free throws good for Lopez. The Heat trail by 12. Side Butler. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And what a tremendous game for Butler. He has 11 points, and he's put one three-pointer on the board. You know what, though, Clark? It wouldn't be a bad idea going forward to try to let him do a little more damage from beyond the arc. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Free throw, good Butler.
That one misses, so he goes one for two. Bucks leading by 11. Outside Hill. That's a two for Matthews. Good, and it's Hill picking up the assist. Matthews has got his first two points of the night. And it's the Heat with the ball. Butler dishes to Crowder. Pocket six. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. The Heat have gone four for five from the charity stripe in this one up to now. Two. That free throw, no good. The Bucks making a switch here. Bayless is checked in. Good on the second free throw. Bucks leading by 12. Dishes it to Matthews. Butler against Hill. And there's the feed to Bayless. Lopez a screen. Six on the shot clock. Misses the three. And no excuse there for missing that one after being freed up by a great pick. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, they came away empty, but they got the look they wanted. And really, I, I've been, I like the movement and communication. Here's Hill. Three Butler making his last shot. Cut the bucket. You know, huge height advantage there, but because of the great body control, he's able to cancel it out. Agreed. The body control is essential in that situation. I mean, if you're giving up a bunch of height, then you better be able to manufacture things in the air. Bucks have gone 7 of 14 in the second quarter, shooting to the tune of 50%. Lopez sets a screen for Matthews. Hill has the open look. Again, missing Hill. The Heat trail by 12. Winslow kicks to Buck to the middle. Matthews with the steal. Here's Hill. Jimmy Butler comes up with the rebound. Miami's gone 0-2 from deep in the second. Feeds it to Winslow. Right wing launches it. And the shot's good from Crowder. Crowder's got four points in the quarter. Not too much respect shown to him by the defender. He's jammed himself up a little bit here with that second foul. As long as he can avoid a third before the half, I think he's fine. Free throw drops for Hill. Wayne Wade's checked in for Jimmy Butler. No free throws. Good from Hill. There's Winslow. Passes it to Crowder. Kicks to Stoudemire. He's now one for two with that bucket. Those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten in the first half here. And I think they should continue to work the ball down low. Buckets really going to free up their outside shooting. Here is Bayless. That's to Lopez. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A 
trip to the line to shoot two. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. He's gone three for four from the line. That's good from Lopez. He doesn't get the second one. The Heat trail by 10. Winslow with it. He's picked up by Hill. The pass to Crowder. Stoudemire the screen. There's a good screen. And the shot's good from Crowder. Crowder's got six here in this quarter. And those are two teammates right there working in rhythm. One setting the screen and the other using it to get that separation. Here is Bayless. Here is Plumlee. And again, the Bucks miss. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. And it's Wade penetrating. And it's sent back by Lopez. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. Well, that fast break went according to plan. Yeah, nice job there, Greg. Recognizing the opportunity was there to push it, and then excellent execution. Now, here's Wade. He has five. And if that doesn't get him fired up, guys, nothing will. Greg, just with the doctor ordered us, some high-flying annex to narrow the deficit. Tell you what, fellas, that could give them the energy boost they've been looking for. Stolen by Wade. 43 seconds left in the first half of the game. Stolen away. And even three on three break. Here's Hill. That's good. And so Bayless with the assist. Eight points for Hill. And started hot, and he's only gotten harder. Winslow, the pass to Wade. Oh, tried to dunk it home, but threw the foul, and he'll go to the line. All stops the duck there. The best outcome in a bad situation. You know, you don't like to foul, but if the alternative is giving up a dunk, it's an easy choice to make. I think it sets a tone for your defense around the rim. Make them earn it. He misses the free throw. And the Heat making a change here. Deng's checked in. And then for Milwaukee. And under the Kumpos checked in for Miles Plumley, and Middleton subbed in for Jared Bayless. And he's good on the second. Bucks leading by nine. Stolen by Winslow. From 15 feet away, Milwaukee with the rebound. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. And, guys, you know that rebounding is a huge part, a huge component of winning games. It's not a glamorous stat, but it's necessary if you're going to be a winning team. And the first half is now in the books. Milwaukee on top. They lead by nine. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke standing by on the sideline. Doris? Thank you, Kevin. Here with Dwayne Wade. And Dwayne, do you think the defense will be the focus for the second half? Well, uh, it is. You know, we've got to get more stops. And when we get opportunities to get on transition, we got to look up and we got to get the ball up. I think right now we're getting rebounds and we're taking a, a break. We got to go, man. We got a very deep team we got to use. So, second half, we're going to look to run a little more. Thank you so much. Back to you guys at the table. Thank you, Doris, and we'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show.
Welcome back, everybody. This is Ernie Johnson along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. We hope you're enjoying this round two conference semifinal. Well, for the Bucks, they followed up their win in game one with a solid performance here in the first half tonight. If they can hold on and win this game, they could go into game three with very little pressure on themselves. Shaq, let's get your take on Milwaukee. Well, they got a nice advantage in the free throw department. I wish I was a shooter. They've been the one taking the direct approach. They're driving the lane, being physical, and forcing the opposing D into tight spots. And that's got them a lot of points at the line and the lead. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Miami? I think they're giving this game away because of their turnovers. I mean, you may not control everything that happens out there, but you do control how much you value each possession. I think coming out of the break, they need to be more efficient to close the gap in the score. All right, and that'll do it for us here. We now take you back to the second half of our game. Kevin Harlan ready with the call.